Hello, welcome along. Jeff Goodwin with another watercolour that we're going to do. You can see a village uh, hut or house there with a lady or a girl there in the uh, in the mid-ground area in front of those houses. Um, just some um, grass and shrubs and trees uh, in the background there, some tropical trees, etc. So we start off with our blank paper, 100% water, um, 100% cotton watercolour paper. Sorry, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> uh, just wetting the paper, trying to wet around the tree a little bit the, so I can get a better green. Um, and I'm just going to um, get a mixture of um, I would say Prussian blue and um, burnt sienna and I'll mix that together and put that in the sky area. First of all, we'll get the water going. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Uh, it's a new page, so I, I really appreciate you subscribing and I uh, value and appreciate the subscribers that uh, I already have and thank you very much for watching. Let's see if we can um, get this watercolour painting going and just a simple scene of a, of a, a couple of uh, houses or dwellings and a lady there in front of those houses. Tropical trees there in the background bit of a dirt road that she's walking on as well and of course we always tape our paper down it just leaves a nice uh, border when we're finished that is our sky I'm sorry I didn't show you actually putting the uh, the colors on there but I'm wanting to speed this one up so I've actually put those colors of Prussian blue and burnt sienna on together uh, just uh, over that uh, wet area of paper and I've tilted the board to let the colours run. It's fixing up in a couple of areas. I think that's pretty good and we'll let that sky dry as much as possible and um, then we'll start on some other areas of the painting. We've got some trees, more trees in the background. We've got that um, tree that you can see left in white to do but we've got some other trees in the background to do as well. So here we go with uh, some of the roof. I've just got a bit of a, a light, uh, I'm just bringing some of this blue off here and then I'm gonna put a bit of a light yellowy color down on the roof. I think that looks pretty good. So all the time there, my sky is drying. There we are, the sky is now uh, dry and I'm just going to just 
just lightly put in some background trees here. It's just using some Australian dark leaf green. That will fade right back. going around the uh, the tree there just some background impression of some background trees there as you can see
just another palm tree or something like that. Sorry, my hand's in the way there. So we have to do the hut and the tree, which we'll start on the tree now. Um, I just want a background colour of leaf green, which is a really vibrant green. Just on these leaves here, just the background colour on the leaves. And I'm using a colour called leaf green. We won't leave it like this. We'll put a bit, a little bit of darker green over the top of that leaf green in areas. So I'm just putting some darker colour over the top, some dark leaf green now, just in some areas. And we'll put some in the middle of that uh, tree there as well. like so.
this is this year, um, sort of a, a um, mustardy yellow, just yellow with a little, tiny little bit of raw sienna mixed in with the yellow, a medium yellow with a tiny bit of raw sienna. And raw sienna again, nice, uh, strong, stronger color of raw sienna. It'll do there for now. All right, so I'm gonna put a, this is a mixture of um, Prussian blue and purple. And then I'll be bringing the color back with some light blue. And I will eventually, and then I'll um, lift some color off with a paper towel just a bit. And then I will go over it again with um, some light raw sienna in areas. So, a little bit of work on the side of the, this uh, building here. But it will come up okay. I don't want it looking too blue. So I'll be bringing this color back. purple in there now but um, it actually works out with these colors together um, because I'll be putting a lighter blue on and then I'll um, just damp uh, take some color off or lift some color off with a paper towel by dabbing a paper towel onto it and then I'll put a tiny uh, bit of uh, raw sienna down not much at all and uh, that'll be really a, a good texture and good color that I want when I, I'm finished doing that. So you can see what I've done there. I've put some lighter blue over where that darker blue was on the side of the building. I'll be putting some more blue on there. Then I'll lift it with a paper towel and I'll put a little bit of uh, raw sienna on. So just keep watching the side of that building where it's darker and I will lift that color off, as I said, with a paper towel, not completely all the colour, but I'll just uh, dab it with a paper towel. It'll give it some texture. It'll leave a lot of the original colour on there, but it'll bring it right back. And then I will go over it with a tiny bit of raw sienna. There you are, more blue, light blue, just to bring it back a bit. I'll let that soak in a bit, then I'll dab it with a paper towel.
oops, that color's running a bit. We better get the paper towel. No, I didn't need it. I just fixed that with a brush. Putting this uh, tree up the top here. Using some Australian dark leaf green, just um, putting some more foliage in here. There's a white fence um, going from the uh, end of the house there, going along where I'm painting this foliage, just below the foliage, or just below those trees. There is a fence. It's below the trees I'm painting now. Okay, so there it is. I've just put down some um, um, some foreground there with uh, a bit of a dirt road and some green on the side. I'll be fixing that up some more. I'm just painting in the uh, clothing on this person. I'm gonna turn this into a dress because I think I would like a, some sort of a village girl or lady. So I will extend that down into a dress very soon, that red. where her legs ought to be and then I'll work on a dress. There's the dress, which you can see. Well, I've ju I just did that off camera very quickly by just extending that down. I'll give you a closer look when we're at the end of the video after the masking tape comes off. You can see uh, on that shack there, that color's been lifted back. So um, I'm going to put a little bit of raw sienna on there later and you'll see that change as well. Just putting some grasses down here on the side of this uh, dirt area. And I want some definition on that fence there near the house, that white fence. I just want some, um, just some markings on that fence there to designate that it is some sort of a fence. Like a concrete fence or something like that. Just 
just darkening up above this fence here in some areas. It's using sap green there. Where that girl is, we right near her head, we just want a tiniest little um, marking of white. And uh, down near where her dress is, we want a marking of white as well. Uh, that'll just uh, lift her out a bit of, from that house. We need some shadow uh, for the house as well, a bit of shadow. Working on the grass again. Just some shadow.
Just some markings here down where that fence is. Very light, just so it designates that it is some sort of a, uh, a border there, some sort of a white fence, whether it be white, white uh, fibro or, or cement or something, or wood. some white um, maybe a little bit of sunlight coming through on the side there of that little um, where those two little houses are joining up there maybe a bit on the roof as well we can do that later bit of a doorway there Just using some uh, Payne's Grey for that. Fix that window up there a bit. A bit. bit of a doorway. Oops, that's running a bit. I'm gonna have to get a paper towel, I think. Fix that window up a little bit, just dab it. It doesn't look too bad, but anyway, we'll just dab it. Righto, so we just want some um, sunlight on that roof as well. A little bit of shadow from that girl. To redo that shadow from the houses as well that's sort of faded right back there work on that shadow from the girl again in just a minute we'll put a darker shadow in just from the girl
little window in here using Payne's Grey again. So, take off the masking tape, and we need a little bit of white just beside that girl's dress on the right hand side of her dress. And you'll see that on the final reveal. There we go. There it is, just a little village, a village girl near her home there some tropical trees in the background. I hope you enjoyed that, very simple. Nice rich colors there. Please subscribe. We're trying to grow this channel. Um, it's only a new channel, so uh, if we get enough subscribers, I'll start off a Patreon and I can do some exclusive stuff uh, just for you as well. Thank you for watching, back again soon with another watercolor.